another strikeout. That's 16. And this is hit high and deep. Left field down the line. Home run. A walk-off two-run homer. Back up the middle. One run is in. Another runner is rounding third and heading for home, and he will score. And there's another drive. Is it a three-home run day for Kanga? Yes, it is. Is this going to go? Unbelievable. I'm a woman can do it all. Hear her roar. Going on the road to face the Guardians in their yard. Peaks are going to put Jank Excelsior on the mound. His record is 3-0 and with a 3.2 ERA so far this season. We're almost into the midway point. And he'll be going up against Matthew Ferrari, who's 1-for-2 with a 6.23 ERA. And that burp is part of the statistic. Don't, don't kid yourself. All right, let's get into it. Uh, lineup changes. Fat Fuck will come out. Rip Rock will go in. We will move uh, Rip Rock to shortstop, which is where he's supposed to be. And Cynic will play second. Dingus will stay at third. The rest of the lineup will stay the same. Let's go to the ballpark. We're going to the motor yard to take on the Guardians. Lineups for the Peaks. Trindle, Dingus, Puffy, Rip Rock, Pootstink, Cynic, Pass Me, Vanderhiggs, and Excelsior on the mound. For the Guardians, Sierra, Winkleson, Bullseye, Steady, Porchetto, McFreddy, Real, and some other people. And Matthew Ferrari will take the mound. The first batter he will face, Gerp Trindle. And he delivers ball one a little bit low. Pretty good pitch there. Trindle unable to pull the trigger. He pulls the trigger on that one and hits a deep fly ball. Center field on the track. Bullseye makes the catch. A well-hit ball there, but Bullseye up to the challenge on the warning track. That will bring Spike Dingus to the plate with one away. And there's another well-hit ball to center field. This one is going back, and it is over the head of the, sec uh, the center fielder. I sure would like to start this whole commentary over. That's going to be a double for Dingus. And that will bring up Arlo Puffy with one away and a man at second. And the first pitch to Puffy is swung on and missed on a low changeup. One and one the count. And this is popped up middle of the infield. Just onto the outfield grass, Sierra will make the catch. And that will bring Dash Riprock to the plate. A runner at second here with two away. And that first pitch from Ferrari is off the plate inside, ball one. This is a base hit out to center field. The runner rounds third and is heading for home. The throw is in time. Got him at the plate to end the inning. So the Peaks try to get a run in, but they get him thrown out at the plate. No score in the top of the first. Guardians coming up. On the hill for the Peaks will be Jank Excelsior. And he will face Joseph Sierra to start the game. Cynic plays the ground ball over to first for one away. That will bring in Flapjack Winkleson. And he also swings at the first pitch. This is a grounder to third. Dingus has it. And two pitches, two outs. Very efficient work for Excelsior on the mound. Spry Bullseye at the plate now. He takes the first pitch over for a strike. It's 0-1. And another ground ball to Dingus. He will play it on the hop and over to first. A very quick and efficient inning for Excelsior. In the bottom of the first, we head to the second. No score. It'll be 5-6-7 and seven up for the Peaks. And here's Jimmy Pootstink to lead it off. And he got underneath that one a little bit. A good pitch to drive, but he was just under it. And this will be caught by Sierra in shallow, shallow center. Here is bemused Cynic. The first pitch from Ferrari is off the plate, as is the second. It's 2-0. 
And that's a well-hit ball into the gap, right center field. Coming over is the center fielder. He won't make the catch. This will go to the wall. Bullseye gathers it in, but it's too late. Sinek is in at second with a leadoff double. And that will bring Tina Passme up to the plate. That's ball one. Little low with that one. Pass me showing some good patience at the plate, waiting for his pitch. That's a strike, but not the one he was waiting to see. And a little high. He's worked the count to three and one, looking for a good pitch. They go to second instead, as if they're afraid to walk the man. But they do it anyway. A good at bat from Pass me draws the walk. Vander Higgs will step in with one away, two runners on the base paths and take ball one up out of the zone. Ferrari a little trouble with his control here early. It's one and one on Vander Higgs and that's well hit out to right field and this will be caught by McFreddy. For the second out of the inning that'll bring the pitcher to the plate. Jank Excelsior, a very good hitter for a pitcher. No reason to sub him out here. And they're going to walk him? I don't know what that pitch out was all about. I guess they were trying to get the runners to go. They do not. But Excelsior flies out to left center to end the inning. So the Peaks strand a couple of runners in the top of the second. We head to the bottom. Guardians coming to the plate. No score yet. Han Steady will be the first batter for the Guardians. And Excelsior winds and delivers. Swung on and missed. A pretty good looking curveball. Han Steady fooled by it. This is back up the middle. This is going to make it out to center field for a base hit. So the leadoff man is aboard for the Guardians here in the bottom of the second. Excelsior made a little mistake out over the plate. And the result is a base runner for the opposing team. He's quickly ahead 0-2 here on Porchetto. And Porchetto pops this into right field. Puffy is calling for it. He has it and will throw back to first, but back in time is the runner. Ronaldo McFreddy will step in to face Excelsior now, who is pitching a very efficient ball game. The runner goes, and he will be safe. A stolen base as the curveball takes its time making it up to the plate. It is over for a strike, though, and it's 0-1. Strike two in the top of the zone. <clears throat> McFreddy awaits the 0-2. Swings and misses. Excelsior. First strikeout for Jank in this one. And that is the second out of the inning. 12 pitches through an inning and two-thirds is a pretty good efficiency rating for Excelsior on the hill. Foul ball, that makes the count. One ball, one strike on Womp Real, who's only batting 064 this year. And he takes a strike there from Excelsior. The one-two caught the corner. Another strikeout, Excelsior. That will end the second inning. We're going to head to the top of the third. Back to the top of the peaks order. We're going to go Gerp Trindle will lead it off, followed by Dingus and Puffy. Facing Matthew Ferrari on the mound. And Trindle takes strike one at the letters. That one slides a little bit inside, one and one. And this is a pretty well hit ball to left field. Does it have the distance? It has the height. It does not. Winkleson makes the catch with his back against the wall. For the first out, that'll bring up Spike Dingus batting 500 to this point in the year. And there's another line drive out to left. This one is also caught by Winkleson, who is busy early in this one. Two away for Arlo Puffy now. And another well-hit ball straight away center. I think this one's going to go, and it is a home run. This one traveling 453 feet. That's Puffy's second of the year, and the Peaks are on the board first. One to nothing, the score. Dash Riprock to step in now. One for one with a single today. He bats here with two outs in the inning. And he takes the first pitch for a strike. A little too inside for him to hit. That one was good, but he didn't swing at it. The 0-2, he's just protecting the plate. 
And that's popped into shallow left. Winkelson comes in, calls off the shortstop and makes the grab. The Peaks get a run on the board. It's one nothing. As we head to the bottom of the third, it'll be Alyssa Morse to lead it off. She's batting 324 this year. Distantly related to Samuel Morse, who invented Morse code, of course. And she's quickly behind 0-2 on Excelsior. The pitch is a little looper that Cynic falls underneath and grabs for out number one. And that will bring the pitcher Ferrari into the batter's box with a 6.67 average this year. And he is behind 0-2 to Excelsior here. Swing and a miss, another strikeout for Excelsior. That's his third of the day. And it brings Joseph Sierra to the plate with two away in the inning. Ball one as the two-seamer misses just low. And that's a strike. 1-1 one, one pitch coming. Just missing with the off-speed pitch there. It's 2-1 and one now on Sierra. And this is fouled away into the dugout. Two balls, two strikes, the count on Sierra. The pitch sawed him off. And this has popped up around the plate. Vanderhigs drifting over, makes the catch to retire the side. We head to the top of the fourth. one nothing peaks, and they are coming to the plate. Jimmy Pootstink to start us off here. Eight home runs for the season with 22 runs driven in. And he is ahead 2-0. Right down the barrel, and this one is headed foul down the right field line. Two and one the count. Off the plate, three balls now, and one strike. That's a walk as it's a little bit up out of the zone. Leadoff man aboard as Pootstink trots down to first with a free pass. And the first pitch to Cynic is off the plate. Ooh, right down the barrel, couldn't pull the trigger. Two and one the count now on bemused cynic and there is a drive to center field this is high and deep but does it have the distance it does not bullseye was playing in but catches up with it going towards the fence to make the first out of the inning tina pass me will step in and hit a line drive right at steady Pootstink back safely to first avoiding the double play but there are two down for Vanderhiggs. A couple of home runs for the catcher this year. She pops this one up though, right around the second base bag. And this will be caught by Steady to end the inning. We're heading to the bottom of the fourth. One nothing peaks is your score. Two, three and four coming up for the Guardians. First of those will be Flapjack Winkelson. And he takes a strike on the outside edge to begin this at bat. And that's fouled away. And Winkelson behind 0-2. Takes the four-seamer inside for ball one. This is hit into the air. Right field should be playable for Puffy. He makes the call, comes over, and records the out. Next up, Spry Bullseye. with one away in the bottom of the fourth. And this is well hit to right field. Puffy going back. He'll have to play it off the wall. That will be a one out double. So a runner at second base for Hans Steady. One away in the inning. Steady likes it low, so we're gonna keep it up in the zone. Strike one, a nice pitch from Excelsior there. The 0-1 is fouled away. Got away with a hanging curveball there. The 0-2 is fouled off as well. The runner went on the off-speed pitch. Another 0-2 pitch coming, and this is popped in the air. Pass me coming over from left, says he's got it. And he don't tell no lies. That's two down in the inning. Edvard Porchetto will be the next to the plate. Runner at second and two down for the third baseman. He takes strike one and awaits the 0-1 delivery. This is hit on the ground. Riprock can't get his glove down. 
Runner heading for home. The throw from past me, not in time, and that will tie the game at one. Two down in the inning, a runner at first, McFreddy at the plate. And there's a base hit back up the middle. That's going to get out to center field. Trindle cuts it off. A bad throw. And the runners think about advancing. Oh, they almost got him at first as he had strayed a little bit too far up the baseline. I feel like maybe that should have been an out. Wampre Al at the plate. Two on, two out. In a tie ball game here in the bottom of the fourth inning. And he fouls the two-seamer away. And it's 0-2. The pitch is low for ball one. Here's a 1-2 to Real. That misses inside. 2-2 two and two now, but they're setting him up for the changeup. And it doesn't quite work out. Puffy coming in. Runner heading home. The throw not in time. And the Guardians take a lead. It's 2-1 to one now. Alyssa Morse back to the plate for her second time today. And she is at a one and one count. I don't know what I was about to say, but I couldn't come up with a sentence to finish she is. So I just said at a one and one count, which doesn't make any sense. That was absolutely ridiculous. So that'll end the inning, but the Guardians get two on the board and they lead by one as we head to the top of five. One of the things I like about baseball is how many numbers I get to say. Here's Jank Excelsior. He's going to lead off the top of the fifth for your peaks. And he hits that one off the end of the bat, but it slices foul down the right field line. And this is lifted into right field over the head of the second baseman, and that will be a leadoff single for the pitcher Excelsior. Making way for Gerp Trendle now, who is locked in and fit and ready to hit some balls a long way. He's ahead in the count 2-0. and oh, They got to come to him a little bit. And they do, and he sends that one through the right side of the infield. A base hit that moves Excelsior over to second, Trindle to first, and Dingus to the plate. Hit a double earlier in the game. He's one for two. And he watches the first pitch go through the other batter's box. And here's a drive to right field. High and deep. Will it have the distance? It will not. It's off the wall. Bullseye misplays the carom, and a run will score. That'll tie the game at two. I should have been running on that one, but I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Two runners on, still nobody out for Arlo Puffy. And that's a drive to center. This is going to get over the head of the center fielder. Oh, no, it's not. Holy cow, how did he make that catch? The runners have to retreat quickly, but we, they will double the runner off a second as that was wall bound for sure. And an incredible catch by the center fielder there to pull it in and record the out. So two down and a runner at first now for Dash Riprock, who is ahead two and one in the count. And there's a drive into the gap. This one will get down. It'll bounce all the way to the wall. It bounces away from the center fielder. And that is just enough time for the runner to score all the way from first. It's three to two peaks as Pootstink will step back in. Runner at second for him, two down in the inning. And this is going to be caught by McFreddy and right. It hung up a little bit too long. A well-struck ball in the gap, but that will be the end of the inning. We head to the bottom of the fifth now. Guardians trailing by a run and coming to the plate. It'll be the pitcher Ferrari to lead it off for the home team. And he takes the first pitch from Excelsior for a strike on the inside corner. Here's the 0-1. That is popped up, shallow left field, past me calling for it and making the catch. And that'll be one down as Joseph Sierra steps to the plate. Of course, he wears that face guard as he had his jaw broken earlier in the season. It's really more his jaw's fault than the baseball, his jaw being so prominent. And he hits a ground ball to Pootstink at first, who will step on the bag for out number two. Here's Flapjack Winkleson. He did not have his jaw broken. In fact, he has a very small jaw, but he wears the face guard in solidarity with his teammate. 
Foul ball, that makes the count 0-2 on Flapjack. And they go up and in, that's popped up. And Vander Higgs behind the plate says she will make the catch and does. That will retire the side. We head to the top of the sixth. Three to two, the score in favor of the Peaks. It'll be Cynic, Pass Me, and Vander Higgs facing Ferrari. And right down the barrel again and couldn't pull the trigger. He gets another chance at the same pitch, but gets underneath it a little bit. And three players have a meeting in right center field. And Steady is the one elected to make the catch. One down. And this is another fly ball to center. This one will be handled by Bullseye. So two down for Vander Higgs. She'll take a curveball that never broke for ball one. And that's a base hit the other way into left field. Winkleson gathers it in. Vander Higgs stands at first with a two out single. For Jank Excelsior had a base hit in his last at bat and batting 400 on the year. And he drives this one hard to center field. And Bullseye makes the catch right at the edge of the danger dirt. After five and a half innings, it's three to two peaks. And the Guardians are coming to the plate to face Jank Excelsior, who has only thrown 55 pitches to this point in the game, working very efficiently. That is a foul ball for strike one off of the bat of Bullseye. And the two-seamer misses a little bit low. Here's the 1-1. Right back through the box. That's going to be a base hit up the middle to lead off the bottom of the sixth. So a runner aboard as Hans Steady steps in. He's one for two today. 322 for the year. And he takes a two-seamer for a strike just on the inside part of the zone. And the curveball misses high. It's one and one. Not a pitch I throw very often, but I felt like uh, changing things up a little bit. Here's the one, two to steady. Swing and a miss on a nice off-speed pitch by Excelsior. And another strikeout recorded by the young right-hander. One away in the inning for Porchetto. The pitch is hit right at Pootstink and wow, couldn't get the double by taking one step to his left and stepping on the bag. So two away, Ronaldo McFreddy at the plate and a runner still at first base and this is hit into the gap. This is trouble off the top of the wall and it bounces away from Trindle who will hustle it in. One run will score, we have a tie game again on the triple there. Womp Real at the plate now, runner at third. And two down, the pitch is a strike. And here comes the 0-1, Excelsior kicks and fires. Ground ball towards short, Riprock has it over to first, end of inning. But the Guardians do tie it up. We head to the top of the seventh now, we're tied at three. It will be the top of the peaks order coming up, led by Gerp Trindle. 16 RBIs this year to go along with a 500 average. And this is lifted high into center field, back pretty far to the track, to the wall, and gone! A home run for Gerp Trindle as that ball just kept on carrying into center field. And that one is 435 feet. That's his seventh of the year and 17th RBI. That will bring Spike Dingus to the plate with nobody away. Got a single and a double today. He takes that one for ball one off the plate. And this is hit on a bouncer to Steady, who will throw him out at first. That's the first out of the inning. That'll bring up Arlo Puffy, who had a long ball earlier in the game, batting 270 on the year. And that's a driven ball out to center field on a line, but Bullseye's there to make the catch. And that'll be two away. Here's Dash Riprock, two for three. A double and a single on his resume. And has driven in a run. He bats here with two away and the base is empty. Well hit ball left field, but Winkleson is there to make the play. That will retire the side and take us to our seventh inning stretch. It's a beautiful day for a ball game, for a ball game today.
Let's get back into the action. We're going to start the bottom of the seventh with a pinch hitter. Alyssa Morse will leave the game, and Ezekiel Lig. Wait, blah, blah, blah. easy for me to say. Ezekiel Lig. Hi. I'm a professional. Ezekiel Wiggs will come in to pinch hit in the eighth spot to start the seventh. The Guardians down by a run. Jank Excelsior back on the bump. And he delivers a foul ball for strike one. The 0 1 pitch coming to Wiggs. Swing and a miss for strike two. Here's the 0 2 pitch to Wiggs. And that is fouled away. We'll do it all over again. Another 0-2 due. And here it is. Swing and a miss. Another strikeout by Excelsior for the first out of the bottom of the seventh inning. That'll bring the pitcher Matthew Ferrari to the plate. Nope, I lied. We're going to have a pinch hitter. Solomon Myers will come in in the nine spot to pinch hit. With one out here in the bottom of the seventh. There's a ground ball towards third. Dingus has it across the diamond. That'll be out number two. And Joseph Sierra will be at the plate. Two away, nobody on for the veteran shortstop. And the first pitch from Excelsior misses just a little bit inside. It's 1-0. That catches the corner. Strike one. One ball, one strike to count as Excelsior winds and delivers. And that's grounded back up the middle. Sinek can't get to it. Trindle will cut it off. That's going to be a single with two outs in the inning. So a runner at first now for Flapjack Wingleson. Flapjack 0 for 3 today. And he will face Excelsior, who is throwing his 75th pitch of the game. Not too shabby through six and two-thirds innings. And that's pop foul. Excelsior ahead 0-2. And, and he will check on the runner. Back in safely is Winkelson. Excelsior comes to the plate. The 0-2 is hit back up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. Pass me. Cuts it off in left. But the runners will be at first and second with two down as Spry Bullseye steps in. He's got a double and a single today. Speedy base runners on the paths, but two away in the inning. Here's the pitch from Excelsior. Catches the corner for strike one. The 0-1 coming in is in there for strike two. Good looking pitch from Excelsior there. The pitch. How do you how do you commentate so well? You just you keep your mouth moving and hope that hope that good words come out. Sometimes they don't. Keep watching for a while. You'll hear me say some stupid shit, guaranteed. One ball, two strikes, the count. On Bullseye, and he struck him out looking. That'll end the inning and end the Guardians threat in the bottom of the seventh. New pitcher coming in. It's going to be Marley Dapper. The young left-hander will come in to take over pitching duties for the Guardians in the top of the eighth, and she will face Pootstink, Cynic, and Pass Me. Jimmy Pootstink to lead it off. And there's a driven ball to right field. High and deep. Is it going to have the distance? It is a home run for Pootstink to lead off the eighth inning. He will touch them all. For the ninth time this year, 442 feet. That one goes opposite field power from Pootstink there. And that makes the score 5-3 to three in favor of the Peaks. Here's Bemuse Cynic, and that's back up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. Cynic will reach on a grounder back through the box. A runner aboard, nobody out as Pass Me steps in. He's 0 for 2 today and has a walk. The runner goes from first. Testing the weak arm of the catcher, and he will be safe. A stolen base. And it's 2-0 and now on past me with the runner at second. That is off the end of the bat, and it will make it out into right field. Not quite deep enough to score the run from second, but there will be runners at the corners. Still nobody out as Vander Higgs steps up to the plate. She's one for three with a single today. A single will mean a run here. A deep fly ball would be the same. She takes the first pitch for ball one. 
That's right down the middle, and she hits that out to right field, caught by McFreddy. But the runner will tag at third and head for home and beat the throw, 6-3. to three. Peaks. Here's Jank Excelsior. Already has a single in three trips to the plate today. He bats with one out and a runner at first. Right down the middle and driven to right field. And this is caught by McFreddy, and they're going to double the runner off of first. As past me thought that was bound for the wall and finds himself all the way around second. So that will be the unconventional double play. We'll head to the bottom of the eighth. The Guardians are down by three. And they will face Jank Excelsior, who has already struck out six today. Excelsior still on the mound. He's lost a little bit, but he's only at 81 pitches, and he's got more than that in his arm. They'll leave him out there. Ground ball up the left side. Rip Rock dives but can't make the stop, so that'll be a leadoff single to start the bottom of the eighth. <clears throat> Edvard Porchetto will step in. Batting 182 with a single home run on the year. The first pitch to him is on the ground. They won't have a play at second, but they'll get the runner at first for one away. Ronaldo McFreddy has a triple and a single in today's action. Runner goes, and I threw to the wrong base because I'm an idiot. The pitch was a strike, though. The runner moves over to third. It's 0-1 on McFreddy. Ground ball to the mound. Excelsior looks the runner back to third, throws to second, throws to first, and that'll be out number two. See what I mean? I told you I'd say something stupid. And a pinch hitter now coming in for Womp Real. Lee Clayton will come in with his inflated power statistics to try and get this runner the last 90 feet to the plate. But there are two away in the inning, and Excelsior is throwing an awfully good game. This is a battle of titans right here. The 0-1 is hit up the middle on the ground. Rip Rock backhands, fires just in time, and that will retire the side. We head to the ninth now, and we got a tight one. It's 6-3 to three peaks. Top of the peaks order coming to the plate. Trindle has a home run and a single today. And we will have a defensive change for the Guardians. It'll be Doug Hudson taking over on the first base side of things. I don't know what that means. Foul ball from Trindle. And that's strike one. Off the plate away. One ball, one strike. The count. A little bit high. Two and one. Ooh, that's a tough pitch there. Two and two the count. Trindle protecting the plate. Sends that one deep to right. And this is over the head of McFreddy, and it's up against the wall. Trindle digs for second, and he is in there with a leadoff double. Good piece of hitting from Trindle there. He works the count, gets it into a favorable position, and sends it out to the wall. That's the way we draw it up on the blackboard. Do they use blackboards in baseball? I don't know. Here's Spike Dingus. He takes strike one. Off the plate away, one and one. And Dingus sort of swings at that. It's one and two. And that is popped into foul territory. Iceberg, thank you so much for the follow, my friend. Welcome to the stream. Take off your shoes, kick up your feet, and relax and watch some baseball. The count is full on Dingus. That's right down the middle, and that is going to be a base hit. That'll drop in front of Winkleson. Trindle is sliding under the tag at third. Runners at the corners now. And it'll be Arlo Puffy at the plate. His only hit today, a solo home run. He will not face Dapper, however. He will face Wash South, who will come in to take over on the hill. Runners at the corners, nobody out. Ninth inning, peaks up by three. High fly ball, deep center field. To the track, to the wall. And over the wall, a three-run home run for Arlo Puffy. And he has blown this game wide open in the top of the ninth inning. That's his third of the year, sixth RBI. And that makes it 9-3. to three. Still nobody out here in the ninth as Rip Rock steps up to the plate. And that's a nice how do you do and welcome to the game for Wash South. He gives up a three-run shot to the first batter he sees. And Sierra, with a nice diving play at short, will prevent the base hit there and get the first out of the inning 
for the Guardians. Jimmy Pootstink stepping in now also has a home run today. And this is lined right at Steady who will make the easy catch. And that'll be two away. Here's Bemused Cynic stepping in. 410 his average for the season. And he fouls off that meatball. That goes foul down the first baseline. The 0-1 is called strike two. That's driven to center field. Hangs up in the air a little bit. And Bullseye makes the catch. That will end the inning. We'll head to the bottom of the ninth. The Guardians are coming to the plate, but they need some runs. They're down by six, and they've got three outs left. And we are going to go ahead and take out Excelsior and bring in the closer, Goofnarb, to face these last three batters. A great day on the mound for Excelsior. And Goofnarb will face Wiggs to start the inning. That is a ground ball foul up the first base line. And the 0-1 pitch coming to Goofnarb. Strike two. Wiggs awaiting the 0-2. Goofnarb winds and fires. A little ground ball towards third. Hard play for Dingus, but he charges, makes the bare hand grab, and throws the man out at first. Pitcher spot coming here. They're not going to. Wow. Okay. They will not pinch hit for their pitcher with a six-run deficit in the bottom of the ninth. Interesting managerial decision here. Can't say I agree with it. That's fouled away. It's one ball, one strike on south. That's a little bit high. It's two and one. And there's a ground ball towards first. Pootstink grabs it. And he'll step on the bag just ahead of South, who was hustling down the line but can't quite make it. And that'll bring up Joseph Sierra, also known as the Guardians' last hope in this game. He will take ball one off the edge of the plate away, and he'll foul the next pitch out of play for strike one. Here's the 1-1. One -1. Just missing on the corner there. Goofnarb wanted that call, didn't get it. The 2-1. Strike two, and the Guardians down to their last strike. Here's the pitch, fouled away, that's wasted. Another 2-2 coming. Ground ball, Pootstink dives, what a play at first, and he'll handle the out himself to end the game. The Peaks win another one by a tally of six to three. A nice piece of work all the way around, a back and forth game through the early innings, but the Peaks blow it open in the top of the ninth and end up with the win. Your winning pitcher is Excelsior. He strikes out six. He goes eight innings, allowing only three earned runs. No homers, no walks. Ferrari gets the loss. He goes seven innings, walks two, gives up two homers. Four home runs total hit by the Peaks in that game, and they come out on top. Arlo Puffy, your first star, he had two home runs and four RBIs. Trindle gets the second star going three for five with a homer and a double. And Excelsior, with his eight innings and six strikeouts, gets the third star. A big win on the road for the Peaks. And let's head back to the franchise.